hello everyone so in this video we are going to learn how to create a chatbot using AWS so in the AWS we have one service called Amazon Lex that help us to create a smart chatbot so let's start so very first thing is you have to log into your AWS account so I'm assuming that you have an account with the AWS so you create one free tier account that will allow you to use many of the AWS services for one year. So to start with, we will be first uh, login in with the account. We will go to the uh, console and then we have to search the AWS Amazon Lex. So we can search any service by typing here. So whatever the services we are looking for, you can just type it and you get the service available. Otherwise, if you are using the service, then the services will be appearing here. So whatever the services you are using, it will be coming uh, onto this screen and be visible here. So let's say we are searching for Amazon Lex. So we write here. And it will search for us this Lex service. So here you can see on the top, we will find this click on it and it will take us to the lex environment which supports all that is required to create a interesting chatbot also i have login and presently you can see that uh, here it is showing region london so uh, in the london region the chat box is available so and uh, just keep in mind that all the services which are offered by the cloud providers may not be available even in all the regions so uh, you need to check that the services are available or not so it it does not need to kind of worry you just select the region start doing a service and if it is not available in the region it will uh, just inform you it will just give you or show you some message that this is not available then you can just look for the region where the required services available so it says that it has a new environment that is a version 2 console so we will be preferring to work on the previous environment so let's say we'll go for the old environment and we'll see that how it works so at any point of time we have a choice to switch to any of these uh, kind of environment you can say where we are developing this chatbot so if you want to switch to the new version you can click here it will take you to the new environment so okay let's start uh, so th the very first thing is you need to get this screen and go to the abajan legs it will take you to the bot page where we have the option to start creating our bot so bots are basically intelligent robots they are they are smart robots which are doing some uh, preliminary job for us like nowadays you have been um, observing that when you visit to any of the website on uh, most of the time at the right hand corner you will find that some pop up will just generate and they will ask you some query the, this is basically a bot which ask you to help you in a better way where it will ask you to provide some information so that it will take you the to the page which you are looking for so here you can see that uh, there are many options to start with you can create your own custom bot and some examples are all already been shown here you can use the inbuilt bot and you can also customize it as per your requirement so let's say if you are going with the inbuilt bot let's say if i am going with the book trip bot you can click here and it's already selected here so you can see this kind of things that we can do here so here we have uh, some terminology we are going to use one is called intent so intent is basically uh, refers to intention means what is the intention uh, for this uh, for this communication means what is the intention what is the purpose of visiting to the page what exactly you are looking for so intent basically refers to the intention that what is the intention of communication 
then we have something utterances utterances are basically a kind of communication the the words that we normally use to 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 get closer to your intent then slot is a kind of prompt which is given to the user to provide more in, uh, to provide more information to provide more input so that the intent must be uh, uh, must be clarified and the bot will be able to help you in a better way so we'll see that uh, how we can make use of uh, of these kind of terms in creating a bot so this is how it will look like for example uh, i'd like to book a hotel then this bot will say which city you are looking for then you may be uh, saying new york city so now see here this is i like i would like to book a hotel it's a kind of communication that will generate or will uh, give an idea to the bot that what exactly you is your intention so utterance is basically an uh, uh, a part of communication that helps the bot to understand the intent the intention of this overall communication so this is a kind of example of utterance and when you are communicating when you are moving in this conversation flow it will say i want to go to city then you will be providing some kind of space to the user where the user can give the input and you can process further that how to proceed with the user request so uh, we have these things are there slots are there the prompts are there which basically uh, prompts the user to to select some inbuilt uh, kind of things for example user maybe want to go to a date then you may be providing in the kind of calendar where the user can select the date and can uh, provide more information so that whatever is the goal of the user can be accomplished using this bot so let's select this language so this is a kind of ready made bot we are looking for is a book trip similarly we have order flowers are there we have scheduled appointment are there so these are the inbuilt bots are provided by the aws you can make use of this and can also customize uh, some intent you can add some more uh, slots to it to make it matchable as per your requirement so if we look to the book trip and it will say which language you are preferring so just select your language let's say we are looking for the english uk and then we are just leaving this option as it is we are keeping it no and we don't have a role assigned any any new role assigned for this job so we are just keeping as it is everything and we are not violating any child online privacy policy so we are clicking here and then that's it we will go for the create and the aws will take some time to create our bot for us it will just uh, check everything that all the required information is provided in the page so you can see that these are this is a book car and uh, if you look at this this is one intent already there book car e n g b and uh, this is for booking means the intention is for booking the car what kind of communication is possible so we can write some possible utterances so make a car reservation reserve a car so these are the these are the possible things that the user can write to show that what is the intention so the intention is basically booking a car so to get this job done the user may write any of these things so initially we are providing some very basic phrases so that the intention of the user can be clarified so if the user is keep on using uh, frequently this kind of application we are having some machine learning algorithms are there they keep on learning uh, and uh, based on the learning they will be more faster and accurate so these are the slots which are already so this is a already a kind of ready made bot for us so we have just want to see a, have a look that how it is working and how actually the things are looking like when we are going to create our own bot 
so just uh, have a look on all this clear on save intent and then everything is saved now and then you can go to build click on build so it will compile everything for you and your bot is actually ready so before testing if you want to test your bot you have to build it first it's a kind of compilation means whatever the entries you have made it will compile check everything and then it will allow you to test so we are now ready to make a test on this so we'll say uh, i am looking to book a car so it says sorry what can i help you with so exactly this phrase is not matching with the utterances that we have provided so it is giving us a message that your phrase is not recognized so let us try with another phrase to book a car so then this is identified and it will say in which in what city do you need to hire a car let's say i want to hire a car for tashkent and then it will ask what day you want to start your hire so let's say i i will say uh, tomorrow let's say and see what is the response they are giving let's say we want on 25th of march so they are saying day let's say i want on tuesday how old is the driver for the sire so uh, you will provide the information based on the information it's keep on asking so this is a kind of simple we have we have used and we have just gone through it that how it works so the purpose of this simple bot is just to realize you that how actually it works now we will go and start doing with our own bot so we will start from the very beginning and then we'll see that how the things are working so let's see we'll go to the uh, to the main screen or to the dashboard so we are here on the dashboard and now we will going to create our own uh, bot so we'll go on the create and we'll go for the custom bot let's say the bot name is so before we have to start working on the bot we need to actually very clear what exactly the purpose or the objective of the bot so let's say we are going to make this bot which can help uh, any user for any query regarding the admission so let's say the bot name is uh, uh, university admissions you can give any name this is just to give some identity then what language is we are using let's say we are using english uk language now you want a text bot or you also want to support a voice uh, feature so here in the aws we have something called poly with the amazon poly feature we can also uh, provide the bot the both the features the text and the voice means the user can provide the text and also it can uh, speak and can uh, raise the questions to the bot so this time we are only looking for a text based application so we'll simply select the text and the session timeout means uh, up to what time the bot will wait for the user input and if the wait if the input is not provided then it will expire so let's say this is one minute so we'll give one minute and uh, session time out and the remaining things will keep it um, default and then we will select to know that we are not violating any in the child pro protection policies and that's it now we have to create the intent so intent as, as i said that this basically refers to the intention 
so the the core objective of this bot is to is to help the uh, user to provide the admission uh, inquiries so intent is the now to achieve the entire goal we have many intents maybe there to get the job done for example the first intent may be the greeting so greeting means uh, the intention is to greet to a person who is actually communicating so i am going to create my first intent and i am saying the intent name is greet or say greeting greetings so i want that whenever anyone want to use my uh, bot will be having kind of greeting to the user so it says greeting intent is already existing so do you want to update or you want to so let's say i want to create a new one so i will say greet intent add and our intent is added here you can see this is added here and now uh, what are the common word that actually we use for greeting so let's say hi hello hey now these are the very common phrases that we use to greet a person so we are providing all possible words or the phrases to identify the intention of the user so initially when somebody wants to start communicating he say hi what so that means it's a kind of greeting so we have to reply accordingly so this is a kind of we are giving some uh, common phrases to understand the intention so the intention here is greet and then we will be uh, going here slots so this we are leaving because uh, here we have not any thing relevant for this greet purpose okay so we will be coming here and then we will reply a message means whenever we identify that there is a greeting uh, intent is there means if someone is greeting to the bot then what to reply we will be writing some messages for example we will say hi you are welcome how can i help you and you just add this message likewise you can add many messages so that every time the bot will use these randomly so that it gives a kind of a real impression for example when we talk to the person we are not using the same words though we are greeting but the phrases may be changing so you can also write some different phrases for the same purpose and every time the bot is using these random phrases that's it we will save the intent fine then we can go with uh, another intent we will go to, we would like to add one more intent let's say that is a admission query so we can go to create intent admission let's say qr by admission query so now we have admission query and our objective here is to uh, to let the user raise the questions regarding the admissions so sample intentions means uh, what courses are offered mm, what specialization university offers next you can say suggest some courses for me at your university it can be like a many possible utterances are there 
that actually looking for some courses at the university university offers what courses okay so we have added the utterances and let's have a look first at what kind of things actually we are getting with this much of uh, bot designing so before we move we have to build it once the building is done we can also test and we can see that what is the flow of this conversation what exactly the behavior the bot is showing with with uh, with the input that is provided to the bot so it's building here you can see that our bot is getting built with this information so once that is built you can start chatting with it and you can have a feel that how it will work so this is okay done you can now write here hey and it will say hi you are welcome how can i help you you can say what courses are offered and we have not provided any response for this so whenever any we have no we have not designed so far that how to react to this kind of query but we have so far we have seen that uh, we have made some input and based on that we are getting output for example now if i change if i say hi so it will again identify this is a greeting and with the, is a greeting intent and based on this intent it will going to reply so now let us move here and we will go further so far we have designed for the admission query intent and uh, let's say we will ask here let's say name our intention is we want to know more about the person who is raising the query so we'll say name and let's say we are going to use some inbuilt format we have used amazon first name prompt is what is your name means when the user is asking something the, the very first thing is we will ask the person name may i know your name and then you can add this so we have this name variable here now this variable means we can use this variable name and this variable name is replaced with its value so whatever the value is provided it can be going to store with this variable and then we can use this variable so you can add message here hi and you can pass the variable name as name here so whatever the name you're providing it will come here so hi name we will our team will get back to you soon kindly share okay that's it because we are just checking how to build a bot that's it and uh, save this intent build this So it's preparing our bot ready for us you can see that it's processing once it is done you are ready to test it once your bot is ready 
so it says that your this is ready for testing you can go here and you start communicating let's say hello so it's a greeting intent and let's say it is identified or not yes so it is identified by the bot that this is a greeting intent and accordingly we have applied hi you are welcome how can i help you so we'll say what courses are offered so this is our admission query intent so means our intention is to find out what kind of courses are offered and then we want to ask more information so let's see that bot is able to identify or not so this is identified by the bot and it says may i know your name so let's say i say my name is or let's say ashish so it says hi ashish our team will get back to you soon so we can see that uh, you provide more information and accordingly it will reply back to you but again it's all happening because at the back side we have designed our bot to behave in such a way so when you are designing a bot we need to carefully identify all the possible scenarios that can arise uh, while providing the information to any user so this is how we can start working on on creating our bot once your bot is ready you are going to publish it and once your bot is published that means it, it it is a complete bot application and it can be then exported to 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 any of the platform where we want to integrate this bot for example i want to create a bot that can handle the student uh, queries for my forum page so i can create a bot and then i can integrate this into my to my web page uh, this bot can be used in the telegram and with the facebook uh, in whatever way we want so the main objective of this video is just to make you familiarize about the environment that how the aws is used to create a bot so you have to go to the amazon lex and then we have all the uh, things are available for us so i hope you have understood the environment and now it's up to you to how you can create the bot which you are looking for that's all for this so uh, as an exercise you are required to create your own bot and uh, I have not uh, designed the complete bot for you because this is this is an exercise where uh, you need to explore yourself the different option the possibilities that that is available in the environment to create your bot at the same time I have shown you complete video for uh, getting a suggestion uh, for a gift but that is being prepared in the different cloud provider and you have to use that video you have to go through the steps understand the the flow that how the bot works you can take the idea from there and once you get the entire idea from there you can you have to create the same application using the amazon lex so uh, IBM platform is being used to create a bot as an example for you but the same idea you have to apply on the Amazon Lex to explore yourself the different possibilities and come up with some interesting bot that's all thank you very much